Hello, welcome everybody. So we've got the new Vital Bracelet Arena app release. I've done a little video on it before, just the first time me opening it and had a couple battles on it. Before I just show how to transfer Digimon from say the other app to to the new app. Um, it's kind of long-winded because you have to put the Digimon from the old app onto the Vital Bracelet and then from there it goes onto the new app. Um, I've already got some Digimon on here. Let's start transferring some Digimon. Make sure you pick the right device uh, you're going to be using. So the BE is not here yet, it is on its way. But the Vital Hero will be obviously the Vital Hero there. And the Vital Bracelet series will be the Digivice V, um, the Vital Bracelet characters. I'm going to transfer over this guy first. So we just go into there. So that represents the Vital Bracelet series, the Vital Bracelet, and the Digivice V. Okay, proceed with these settings. The loading times on this is quite long. I mean, there's still a few bugs. So if you see here, it says send. So you send, create a vital bracelet. So on the vital bracelet, app login, transfer data, ready to scan. Successful, nice. He's out the watch and in the app now. You want to send it back to the device? You just click on assign, press and hold, send, send this character to your vital bracelet. Okay, and again on the vital bracelet. Check card. You're ready to scan. Now it's done all the checks. Hello, you just transfer data. It's the final step. There you go. So he's back on the vital bracelet. Like, let's just say you want to transfer from the vital hero. You then have to go down here just to change the device settings. Click on that and then click on Vital Hero and Digital Monsters, okay. So the device is now changed to the Vital Hero and again the same way you want to send the Digimon to the app, scan complete. Fundamon is on the app now. Get this app first, you get these two characters for each device for free but they're only test characters. Um, I haven't tried this, but I don't think you can send them to your device. They're just like just to test out the actual app. But if you want to change that around, like you've got a Digimon on there now, just go to a sign and you see this double arrow kind of thing here. Just click on that and swap them over. Pretty simple. So let's have a little quick battle. Oh, let's proceed. Oh, let's do a tag team attack. Ooh, 19 combo, nice. Finish him off. There's no way to log in yet. Even I thought manage data, you'll have it, but it's basically saying to delete your data. 
um, maybe in a future update they might allow you to log in there so I think it's very very tedious the way you have to get your Digimon out of the VB labs what's tedious about that is you have to do that dim card uh, verification thing which just takes ages it's like three steps just to get that Digimon back on the device let me just show one quick one of something I have in here so let's take my original Digimon that I raised Kazuchimon. A lot of people already probably know how to send it on this, but on this device, it's scan or app to vital bracelet. Obviously, you're going to need to do the DIM card check. So now it's going to ask you to put in the DIM card. So after you've done the DIM check, check DIM installation, and you should be ready for the last stage. Put it up on here, click, and you're ready to go. So Kazuchimon is now on the Vital Bracelet app, and I think I'll keep him here. Apparently, even if you lose or win battles in this, you lose VP, Vital Points, so let's give it a test. Let's do a tag team attack. Let's see if he lost VP there. Yeah, as you can see there, he was at 9999 and now he's at 9699. So he lost 300 VP vital points. Put the comment that I got in the last video about this. That's who I heard it from. The person that commented on my last video. So that's 300 points been used there. Hopefully this video can be helpful for anyone that don't know what they're doing or need help on something. If there's any other questions, you can leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. It's still a bit buggy. I don't know if you want to transfer all your Digimon yet, just in case an error happens, like a lot of people online saying that their Digimon has been disappearing. That hasn't happened to me. Just in case you might not want to switch them over yet until there's some type of updates to like clean up all the bugs. Now the VP thing, I don't know if that's a bug or they're just saying that your VP is basically your DP, um, like on a normal VPIT. Once that runs out, you can't battle anymore. You have to then come and raise your vital points again on the device, or maybe there's going to be items on this actual app. The online battles, I can't seem to find any battles. So if I go to free battles, random match, there you go. No available opponents. So can't find a match online yet the rooms don't work because i've tried to use both my phones one that has the the code for the room and the other one that's made the room and you just don't see each other my guess is bandai's still working on all that stuff once everybody starts getting their vital bracelet be's possibly you'll be seeing an update coming so yeah hope uh, this video helps thanks for watching bye Digital World Order.